Hello everyone, this is Rajendran here joining from Market Calls and thank you for joining us today for this webinar on designing intraday trading strategies using AMI Broker. In the world of trading, the ability to create effective intraday strategies can make all the difference between success and failure. With AMI Broker, we have a powerful tool at our disposal to help us navigate the complexities of the intraday trading. So intraday trading is a high stake game where decisions need to be made quickly and accurately. It requires a deep understanding of technical analysis, market dynamics, and the ability to adapt to rapidly changing conditions. AMI Broker is the perfect companion for the traders in this fast-paced environment. With its robust backtesting capabilities, customizable indicators, and intuitive scripting language, AMI Broker empowers traders to develop, test, and refine their intraday strategies with precision. Whether you are a seasonal trader or just starting out, you'll find AMI Broker to be an indispensable tool in your trading arsenal. Throughout this webinar, we will explore various uh, topics about intraday designing intraday trading strategies. So I encourage you to actively participate, ask questions, and engage with, the, with us. Together, we'll unlock the potential of AMI Broker and help you design intraday trading strategies that stand the test of the time in today's dynamic markets. All right, so let's quickly kickstart with the session. Uh, there is a chat box down there. If you uh, sense the audio and video quality is good enough, please type yes so that we can quickly kickstart with the session. Is the audio and video quality is good enough? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Shivanand. Thank you, Baumin. Thank you, Manoj. Thank you, Sudindra. Thank you, Vimal. Thank you, Vineet. And thank you, Srinivas, thank you, Venkatesh, thank you, Anand, and thank you, everybody. So without any further delay, well, let's quickly kickstart with the coding part. So straight away, we're going to launch AMI Broker over here. So here is my AMI Broker. And I'm using AMI Broker, the latest edition, AMI Broker 6.4. So I'll go to File, New Formula. Give me a sec. Yeah. So let me go to file new and formula. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to design a strategy. I'm going to make that strategy purely intraday. And not only that, I'm also going to convert that strategy along with the stop loss and target levels. So let's start one by one. Section begin. Donchian. I'm going to start with a simple Donchian channel trading system. Donchian channel intraday trading system. So section begin and section end is typically, it's not a mandatory requirement, but it's a good coding practice to have a section begin and section end. Some codings will have multiple sections and multiple section end also. So what we're gonna build is, we're gonna build a Donchian, Donchian channel trading system. It's a simple high-low breakout. Breakout strategy. Not only that, we are also going to build a stop loss and target mechanism also. So we're gonna build a stop loss and the target mechanism. And along with that, we are also going to Plot the indicators and signals. Plot the indicators and signals. So these are the things that we're going to do in this particular block. So first I'm going to set the trade delay. Set trade delay as 0, 0, 0, 0 means, so what it says is like real-time execution, real-time 
signals means when the signal happens immediately the signal will stay and there will not be any repainting at all i'm setting that as trade delay as 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 means for buy entry signal is real time the moment the signal happens the execution also happens execution means when the signal is there i'm going to submit the orders and when sell signal is there again i'm going to submit the orders when short signal is there i'm going to submit the short signal and when cover signal is there i'm going to cover my shots immediately real time real time signals execution is immediate that's what it means immediate we're not waiting for the close of the bar or we're not waiting for the next bar to open nothing like that as as if when the signal is happening we're going to execute those signals so the next one is to input the parameters so i'm going to have multiple step step one is input the parameters or create input controls create input controls and step two is going to we're going to build the downstream channel step two is building the downstream channel build downstream channels and step three step three is going to be we're gonna plot the downstream channel And afterwards, we're going to plot the charts, stop, plot the candles. And probably followed by that, we will be having trading rules, trading logic. And step six, what we are going to do here is along with the trading logic, trading logic for buy, trading logic for uh, buy and sell signals, likewise trading logic for short and cover signals. And once we are done with that, we'll be plotting the stop loss. Stop loss. Oh, sorry, calculate the stop loss. Calculate the stop loss and target for long entry. That is step number six. And uh, step number seven is going to be trading tra trading logic for short and cover signals. And step seven, uh, step eight, step eight is going to be calculate the stop loss target for short entry. And step nine is going to be plotting the stop loss and target plotting the stop loss and target. And then step 10, that's the final step here. Step 10. Plotting buy or sell trading signals. Buy sell trading signals. So total 10 step is what we're gonna plot over here. We'll start one by one. First is creating the input controls. Some of the inputs that what I need to get here is the length of the downchain channel. So length equal to param i'm going to use a function called param the param function is used to collect the input over here length 
comma by default i'm going to keep the length as 20 and i can vary the length between 1 to 100 1 to 100 with a step interval of 1 and followed by that i'm going to set the stops i'm going to collect the stop loss in a, a point format so param stop loss stop loss comma i'm going to keep the stop loss for nifty by default i'm going to keep it for something like 50 points step interval is again going to be one with a size varying from like something like 1000 points with a step interval of one and target target i'm going to keep it like param target comma 100 comma 1 comma i'm going to keep it like maximum as 1000 with a step interval of 1 and followed by that i'm going to have a control over here it's called display line so i'm going to use a function called param toggle param toggle all right so param toggle i'm going to show the target and stop loss show target and stop loss stop loss it's kind of a switch basically it can be either on or off so i'm here i'm going to show like uh, the button name will be show or hide so i'm using show followed by pipe symbol followed by a hide comma by default the switch is on means by default it will show the uh, target and stop loss if i click on that button it will hide the stop loss that's how it is going to be so the output of param toggle can be either 0 or 1 so by default i'm setting the value as 1 it's it going to act like a switch the switch can be either on or off likewise here also param toggle also either the switch can be either on or off so here we're going to build the downstream channel over here that's a step 2 so step 2 i'm going to plot the upper channel upper channel is nothing but higher high value of high comma length of the channel the length is going to be by default it's a 20 bar, 20 period look back and lower is nothing but lower low value so last 20 bar lower low value comma length llv and hhv are the function which will calculate the higher high value and lower low value very interesting function mostly if you are looking for breakout strategies then hhv and llv are very very useful functions and here i'm going to give a one bar delay over here one bar delay to the channels because i'm going to look for a breakout i'm going to look for the breakout of the previous value of the upper and lower channels that's why i'm giving a one bar delay upper equals reference of upper comma minus 1 actually i'm just giving one bar delay over here lower equal to i'm just redefining the channel over here reference of lower comma minus one so step three is plotting the down chain channel let's go and plot the down chain channel over here i'm gonna plot the upper channel probably i'm gonna plot with the color color green for the upper channel the style thick and likewise i'm going to plot the lower channel as well plot the lower channel i'm on a lower channel color green mass style thick all right so i'm going to plot the candles as well so in order to plot the candles, two things are necessary. One is we have to mention the arrows and dates. For that, we have to have a function called set chart options. Set our chart option 0, comma, chart show arrows, chart show arrows with a pipe symbol followed by chart show dates. So this will enable the x-axis. 
will enable the x axis otherwise the x axis will not be shown basically and followed by that i'm going to plot the candles in order to plot the candles i have to plot the close and i'm going to say candle color i'm going to make it like color default and style i'm going to make it like style candle so since i make it a style candle automatically it detects the open high low close and automatically it plots the open high low close automatically that's how ami broker function works and uh, and i'm going to say like and also yeah that is how i'm going to make it so let's do one thing let's save here we have done a significant effort so far we should not be losing those things so i'm going to say ami ami broker or i'll say ami intraday ami intraday yeah so i'm going to say donchian intraday strategy donchian intraday trading system or probably donchian channel intraday trading system donchian channel intraday trading system see one another control that we also have to use here is we also have to add the uh, start time end time and uh, signal start and when the signal has to start when the signal has to end so those things also we have to encode along with this so i'm going to have uh, some more controls over here start time i'm going to use a param time over here param time so i'm going to say like six start time signal start time so by default the value which i am going to give here is 930 930 is going to be the by default value likewise uh, end time now what does that start time means in it uh, as long as the time is not reached 930 is not reached no fresh signals will be generated only any fresh signal is just have to generate it will start only from 930 after 930 only and then we have end time again i'm going to say like param time is going to be signal end time come on the control is going to be i'll say like 15 colon 00 till 3 o'clock i will allow signals after 3 o'clock i will not take fresh entries maybe any open position which is running there it can get closed for that we have sq of time square of time sq square of time i'm going to say like any open position which is running by 15 15 i will consider closing those position any all the open position will get closed around 15 15 So these are intraday controls. Intraday controls. All right. So far, we had coded the uh, inputs controls, intraday controls. We built the downtrend channel. For breakout level, we had uh, given a one bar delay to the channel because current bar should be breaking out the previous downtrend channel. For that, I had given one bar delay. and uh, i had plotted the previous down chain channel one bar back one bar delayed upper channel and lower channel so that you can identify the breakout clearly followed by that i had plotted the candles as well i had plotted the uh, set chart option zero comma chart show arrows and chart show dates that will enable the x axis and now uh, we also saved the code as well now i'll do one thing i am going to uh, open a new blank chart i'll go to my ami broker from here i'm going to click on new blank chart and then i'll go to the code there is two way i can apply the code i can directly apply the code from here that will open a 
new tab and it will uh, plot the Don Chen channel along with the candlestick charts. The another way is I can open a new blank chart, go to the chart section, look for AMI intraday. Obviously, it should not be there because I have to right click and then uh, refresh the charts. Now you can see AMI broker intraday. I'm going to drag and drop the down chain channel over here. So this is the way we can plot the uh, down chain channel along with the candlestick charts. Now we're going to write the strategy for that. Now we're going to write the trading logic for buy and sell signals over here. So the buy signal is nothing but cross of high of the candle crossing the upper channel. Not only that, and the time num, the time of the candle should be greater than the start time. And also the time of the candle, that is the time num of the candle should be less than the end time, less than or equal to. We can use like star, greater than or equal to and less than or equal to the end time. See, one thing to understand here is Sami Broker is easy to code and easy to understand. It uses a low level programming language. That means it will be... Uh, I mean, high-level programming language. That means it is very easy to understand with the simple text conditions. So likewise, I'm going to say like I sell. I sell is nothing but, I'm not going to quote the sell condition directly. I'm going to use a temporary variable called I sell because we later on we have to quote the target, stop loss and all those other stuff. So I'm going to say cross off. lower comma low kind of a downside breakout so here i'm going to calculate my entry price my entry price is value when when the whenever the buy signal happen by that time what is my upper channel that is my entry long entry price that's going to be my long entry price so here i'm actually calculating the calculating the long entry price now once the long entry price is calculated now it is very easy to calculate the target and stop loss so i'm going to say like buy stop equal to buy price minus stop actually one more thing we need to do over here so what will happen is like it will create multiple buy and sell signal so in order to avoid that i'm going to do an xrm buy equal to xrm of buy comma sell and likewise sell equal to xrm of Sell comma buy. And one more rule I forgot to add over here. In I sell, cross of lower comma low or if the time is reaching the square of time. So time num equals equals. Whenever it is equating the square of time over here, then also it will go for an exit. All right. I sell, I sell. So we had calculated the uh, buy stop value. Likewise, we have to calculate the short stop value also. I mean, buy stop value also. Buy target, buy stop, both need to be calculated. Buy target is nothing but 
buy price plus target so whenever uh, you are done with the code you always check with the afl check on that if there is any error that means something is wrong with the thing so here i'm using stop which is not used over here maybe it could be stops or something let me check yes it is stops and moreover the variables are not case sensitive so you can use a mix of small letters and uh, uh, capital letters doesn't mean anything to that when it comes to ami broker so now let me click on afl so so far if there is no error if i click on this verify syntax it will verify all the syntax and it will show that there are no errors in the code now i'm going to code the sell signal my sell signal is nothing but here is that the actual sell signal is going to code over here uh, my sell signal can happen in three ways one is actually actual re reversal can happen or a target can hit or a stop loss can hit so i sell or a target can hit or a stop loss can hit cross off cross off i comma buy target or it can also happen because of cross off stop loss whether if the stop loss is going to hit then buy stops comma low of the candle idly doesn't matter but still i'm just uh, trying to maintain the case over here so the sell signal is nothing but i sell i sell is what if the lower channel is breaking down or if the square of time is reached i will sell my stocks means i will exit my longs so buy means going long buy means go long and sell means exit your longs sell means exit longs all right so actually my sell signal is nothing but i sell which is nothing but uh, which is another another term it's nothing but cross of lower comma low and time num is equals equals square of time either square of time is reached i will exit my longs or if the lower channel is hit i will exit my longs or if the target is hit i will exit my longs or if the stop loss is hit i will exit my longs all right so that is how the uh, entry price is calculated now one more thing that we need to take care of over here is a buy price can happen whenever a price also at times uh, it can gap up above the channel also so if the price is opening gap up above the channel then i have to uh, i cannot buy exactly at the upper channel right so in that case my entry point will be at the gap up open itself so in that case my entry price is going to be max of open comma value when so whichever is the maximum value i will take it up if the gap up is happening gap up will be opening above the upper channel in that case open price will be taken as the buy price the rest other cases if there is no gap up open obviously the upper channel will be used as the entry price so gap up condition also should be considered gap up condition needs to be considered for the entry price otherwise if the gap, if there is a gap up open then uh, a wrong price will be used as the entry price so to avoid that we are also including the gap up condition also right now sell sell price we need to code the sell price over here before do that we need to do an xram again y equal to xram so the xram function will remove excess of signals buy comma sell and sell is nothing but xram of sell comma buy 
so so far we had calculated the stop loss and we also calculated the uh, total signals also here is where we calculated the star stop loss and target for the long entry we calculated the exit over here and we had done the xrm now what is pending here is we have to exactly calculate the sell price over here sell price value when whenever the signal is happening because of square of time let's say the sell signal is happening value when sell signal it can happen with the gap down condition also obviously gap down is not going to happen but still it's good to have a sometimes very rarely intra bar gap up or gap down can happen so i'm going to use the minimum of open comma if if at all the sell signal is going to happen because of the uh, square off then i will exit at the closing price of the candle if not i will look for another uh, if it is happening because of the lower low of the candle if it is happening because of the lower low of the candle then probably we will be uh, i'll be using the lower channel as the exit point or if it is happening because of the target hit if it is if the exit is because of the target hit then i will exit at the buy target itself that is my exit price or if the exit is happening because of the stop loss hit stop loss hit then i will exit at the buy stop if none of them is going to happen then i will exit at the closing price of the candle i'll close all the if loop so the finally we had coded the sell price also sell price is little bit uh, uh, we have to identify that buy price is very straight forward because we have only one entry whenever the price is opening above the upper channel or whenever there is a gap up we are going to buy at the entry price but that is not the case with the sell price when it comes to sell price it can happen if there is going to be a square off time is going to reached we will we have to exit or if the lower channel is going to hit we have to exit if the buy target is hit we have to exit or if the buy stop is hit also we have to exit so we have different different uh, entry price exit price so that's why the reason for the rule is quite complex so we use multiple nested iif condition to build those uh, setup now next one is we have to implement the trading logic for the short and cover signals as well so let's do the short and cover signal as well for a short signal short equal to cross of lower comma low and not only that we also add the timing conditions also and it represents go short go short over here likewise for the cover if we are going to use the cross of higher comma high comma upper i'm just waiting for the upper channel breakout or the square of time is reached the square of time is reached so 
once you are done with that, we have to do the XRM between the short and cover. So short equal to XRM of short comma I cover. Likewise, cover equal to XRM of I cover comma short. See why we are using the temporary variables like I cover and uh, I sell is because we don't know the entry price. Uh, we know the entry price. We don't know the exit price because exit price can happen because of a target hit or a stop loss hit or a square off uh, exit or maybe because of an uh, uh, price breaking the upper channel or the lower channel. So exit can happen because of a various reason, but we know the entry price. Entry price always happen when the upper channel is broken or lower channel is broken. So it's a straightforward one. That's why it is very easy to quote the buy price and the short price straightforward. Once the entry price is known, then we'll calculate the stop loss target. And then finally we'll quote the exit. That's the simplest idea over here. So once we are done with that, The next one is coding the short price. So in case of short price, we have to use the, you can directly use the value when, value when short, comma, minimum of open, comma, lower channel. Lower, actually in the, uh, other one also we have to code it. I had mentioned wrongly. It's not max over here. It's value when buy comma up. Buy comma. Max of open comma upper. Anyways, let me save it. Whatever we had coded. Let me also. Check on the AFL. There are two errors over here. What I missed? I missed I cover. It's supposed to be I cover. Temporary cover signal. So let me check now. Most likely the issue would have solved now. Yeah. So short price we had coded. The next one is coding the short stop. Short stop is nothing but from the short price we have to add the stop stops basically and short target is going to be from the entry price minus the target so every statement should end with the semicolon over here don't forget so once we are done with the calculation of the stop loss and target for the shots. Next one is to calculate the actual exit signal. We have to calculate the cover signal. The cover signal is basically I cover or it can be happening because of a stop loss hit or a target hit. So cross of short target comma I'll keep the case of the letters as it is, though it doesn't matter. Short target, comma, I'm sorry, low of the candle or cross of stop loss hit, high comma, short stop. So cover signal is coded over here. Now what we have to do is we have to remove excessive signal again. Remove excessive signals. My short is nothing but short is equal to XRM of. We always use XRM to remove excessive signal. Short comma cover. And the cover signal is nothing but. XRM of cover comma short. 
So once finally everything is done, the next one is to code the cover price. Nothing but value when, when cover signal is there. Minimum of open comma, sorry, max of, max of open comma. If the exit is happening because of the square of time, the exit is happening because of the square of time. Then obviously we have to do what we have to ex use the closing price as the exit price. Otherwise, if the cross of high comma upper channel, then the exit is used based on the upper channel. If cross of if the short target is achieved if the short target is achieved then short target is going to be the short target is going to be the exit price if short stop loss is going to hit then the short stop loss is going to be the exit price if none of them matches, then I will use the closing price as the exit point. Basically, whatever the opening parenthesis we had opened, we have to close all the opening parenthesis. So once we are done with that, the cover price is also done over here. Now it is time to plot the stop loss and target. Now we can readily plot the target and stop loss and finally we have to plot the uh, buy and sell arrows. So I'm going to say if display line, if the display line is on, then only I want to plot the buy signal and sell signal. So I'm just opening a loop over here actually. I want to plot my buy signal arrows, I mean buy signal, buy target and buy stop loss as long as the trade is continuing. For that, I'm going to use buy continue, a variable called buy continue. I'm going to use a flip of buy comma sell. So this will make each and every bar true as long as the buy signal is continuing. Until the sell signal is going to happen, it will be keep on maintaining the bar true, 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 and true. So as long as the buy signal is true, the buy continue uh, variable will remain true. So now, uh, likewise, I'm also going to use short continue equal to flip off short comma cover. I'm going to plot if buy signal is continuing, buy continue is there, then I want to plot buy stop. Otherwise, I don't want to plot anything. So I don't want to plot anything once the signal is over. Once the sell signal is over, I don't want to plot any stop loss and target. Stop loss and target, I want to plot only as long as the signal is continuing. All right. Then followed by that, I'm going to make it like buy stops. Come on, I'm going to make it like color red. Style, probably I'm going to make it like style dashed. A different style. Likewise, I'm going to plot target. Only if the buy signal is continuing, then only I want to plot the buy target. 
otherwise i don't want to plot anything now I, if you don't want to plot anything that means you can use null by target then i'm going to use the color as probably i'm going to use color green for that i'll dashed I'm going to copy the same thing and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to change only the values. Instead of by continue, it's supposed to be short continue. Again, short continue over here. I want to plot the short stop, short stop and short target. Likewise, here also it's going to be short stop and short target, short stops and short target. And the color of what I'm going to use here is color yellow and color blue is what I'm going to use for the stop loss and target. For stop loss, I'm going to use color yellow and target, I'm going to use color blue. All right. So far, we are done uh, with the step nine and here comes the final step. The final step is the easiest one. I want to plot buy or sell signal. So for that, what I'm going to go here is I'll go to a code snippet. Code snippet. Code snippet plot buy or sell signals. So basically, that will lead to my portal. Click on that. Scroll down, and you will be having a code, bunch of codes. Copy the code which plots the arrows for the buy sell short cover signals. I'm just simply going to paste those values over. It's a default template, which I'll be using to plot the buy and sell signal arrows. Let me save the code over here. And let me apply to the charts. So once I apply to the charts, automatically you'll be able to see those values. You can see the values of the uh, signals, targets. Maybe if you, if in case, if I right click, go to the parameters, I can control the parameters as well. I can control the parameters, I can control the targets, I can control the square of time, everything I can control over here. For example, let's say I want my stop loss to be a little bit closer, I can bring the target closer, I can bring the stop loss closer, I can also bring the target closer as well. You can see that the moment when the stop loss is hit, it exits the price action immediately. And the signal immediately got stops over there. Probably I'll keep a short stop loss, like something like 50 points, 25 points stop loss and 50 points target. So something like a one is to two risk reward ratio, I can keep it over here. So whenever long signal is there, we will be seeing a long stop loss and long target. And whenever the short signal is there, We'll be having a yellow color uh, stop loss and uh, blue color target will be there. All right. So basically, we have to use this on a five minute scale. On a five minute scale, probably I would like to keep a slightly extended target, something like probably something like 40 and maybe 100. Kind of one is to 2.5. Or maybe one is to two, something like 50 and 100. We can keep something like this. All right, there is a small promo over here. So Quantech is the program that we are conducting. You can reach from Market Calls website. So from the Market Calls website, click on Quantech. We are doing a, a live mentorship program on AMI Broker. So basically the thing that we are going to cover is Sami Broker AFL coding. We're going to start right from the scratch. Everything will be starting right from the scratch. We'll be creating an indicators. We'll be creating uh, various uh, exploration module scanners, particularly for investors, uh, not only for investors, mostly for traders also. 
and we'll be designing fine tuning testing trading systems we'll be creating trading alerts we'll be creating uh, trading dashboards we'll be designing portfolio models we'll be designing advanced trading strategies machine learning not only that we're going to spend significant amount of time in automated trading algo execution and we'll be designing execution modules and uh, here is a coupon code over here ebird10 uh, which you which will avail 10% discount for the people who are uh, signing by this weekend and uh, here's our support team number if in case you have any queries you can always connect with our support team plus nine one nine five three five one double three double four five so let me take questions over here and the event is going to start from 16th of october onwards the event will be uh, every mostly it will be conducted on weekdays 6 pm to 9 pm every day we'll be spending three hours on coding uh, various ami broker uh, afl modules Mostly it's going to be a practical workshop, basically. And of course, you'll be given a test uh, database also to practice. So whatever the database which I am using, I'll, you'll be presented the same database as well. So let me know if you have any questions, I can, uh, I'm happy to answer all your questions. So Shailendra is saying, I'm new to Algo. Just explain how integration helps with our trading system and how it works. Probably in our upcoming chapter, we will one of the session we will talk about uh, Algo trading concept. So once the signal has been coded, so far we had coded only the trading logic. Once the trading logic, we need to connect with the bridge and we have to code the execution logic. So trading logic combined with execution logic is where the automation happens. For that, we need a trading bridge also along with that. It will work automatically. These days, automatic transactions are there. We don't need to do anything manually over here. Once the setup is done, then uh, it seamlessly, the automation execution runs. Can you share me the formula for high minus low formula? You can just simply plot high minus low and uh, you can fill up the uh, values. It will be able, you will be able to do that. Not a big deal. Could you please share the code? I'll be posting the code in the same portal itself. Probably once the session is over, I'll be posting the code. You'll be able to see the code probably by today, eight o'clock. It'll, it'll be available in the uh, our course portal. So this year we'll be presenting something called Algo Studio. Algo Studio, anybody who is subscribing for the Quantage 1.0 program, they will get 12 month of free access to the Algo Studio program. It's kind of a bunch of proprietary tools where we are planning to give this time five trading strategies. Along with five trading strategies, uh, we'll be having some couple of three indicators also. Three indicators and five strategies along with the Quantage program. And that will be uh, available as a free access for up to 12 months. Yeah, once the code has been done, right? Once the code has been done, you can run on any time frame. If you want to run it on a one minute chart, you can run it on a one minute chart. If you want to run it on a three minute time frame, you can run it on a three minute time frame. If you run it on a 15 minute scale, you can run it on a 15 minute scale. So basically there is no, uh, you code once and you can reuse on any kind of time frame. Any time frame, you can reuse it. Since it is an intraday strategy, it is recommended to use only on lower time frame, like three minute, five minute, 10 minute, 15 minute max. Hourly, maybe not a good idea because it uses an intraday uh, strategy along with that. If it is not an intraday strategy, if it is a positional strategy, yes, you can use it on any time frame. It doesn't matter. Babu Shah is asking how to calculate the 200 day average days of past high minus low. 
it's very simple you have to put a variable for high minus low save it under a variable let's say range and then take the 200 ema of the range ema 200 comma i mean ema range comma 200 and store it in the variable plot those variable you will be able to get those values all right let me take some more questions how to subscribe to the course um, probably i'll repeat again if in case if you want the link first you just go to marketcalls.in from the marketcalls.in click on the quant edge and uh, from here you'll be able to access the basic and advanced course combined together it's a package so this course will be uh, it's an 80 plus hours of course it means almost uh, the course will be running for one and a half the course will be running for uh, approximately one and a half months all right so let me pass here is the afl code uh, here available offline it will be available in the portal mr anand sudindra is asking can we use this code in trading view no this code is designed only for uh, ami broker only uh, in trading view you cannot use the code is ami broker more popular than mt4 i am a big fan of mt4 that's what the question from vishnu murthy is ami broker is definitely popular more than mt4 how much ever mt4 is popular mt4 is popular in forex markets and uh, it is popular because of uh, cheaper uh, feeds so that's why it's quite popular whereas ami broker is uh, having more sophisticated tools building indicators and strategies and scanners uh, is very easier in ami broker than mt4 for mt4 you have to have a strong knowledge of c++ and uh, mql4 coding whereas ami broker you can uh, even if you are a even if you are not a coder also you can learn ami broker ami broker afl all right so let me pass here there is one final question from vinayak his, code, his question is can this code be used for daily time frame of course not whatever the code we designed is an intraday strategy so as i said the the code can be better if you are using on a lower time frame like 1 minute 3 minute 5 minute 15 minute even hourly also hourly signal will generate but in a hourly in a day we'll have only seven bars only so trying to use it on a daily time frame and hourly time frame is unviable you can use it for a lower time frame code all right all right uh, let me say thank you for coming by and attending the session and asking wonderful questions so let me pass here and uh, next week we'll come up with uh, more interesting sessions thank you